Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation using a scientific calculator. So for this model, uh, I'm able to solve quadratic equations. So the first thing I'll need to do is I'll have to press mode, go to, because we see an arrow here, right? so we can press down, and then we see equation, so two. And then we can again press down and press on quadratic equation. As we can see, there's a cub cubic, e e sorry, there's a cubic equation that we can solve as well. But then in this case, we are going to look for the quadratic equation because high school, we mostly focus only on quadratic equation. So we press two. Now we have uh, A, what is A? So first thing first, you need to put the equation equals to zero. So what we need to do on the first example here is move the 10 onto the other side. So I have two X squared minus four X minus 16 equal to zero. Okay, moving on the other side, it becomes minus 10. So minus six minus 10, it becomes minus 16. Now, what is my A? A is actually two. So I can just press two equal, and then it will store into the uh, variable A, right? A is always the coefficient of X squared. B is always the coefficient of the X, and C is always the constant term, okay? So I have B, which is minus four equal. C is minus 16. I have equals, and when I press equal, it gives me x1 equals to four. So that's basically my answer. Let me change the color here. So I have x1 equals to four. How about the other answer? If I press enter again, well, equal again, x2 equals to minus two. So I have x2 equals to minus two. Okay, so what does it mean here is this is the solving the quadrat equation that we have a two intersecting point. Okay, let's look at another one. So how do I go to for the next one? So if I press enter again, I'll go back to A. So I can basically overwrite these values. So by entering A equals to one for number two. Okay, question number two here, A is one, B is two, and C is one. So right away, I can see that my X one is going to be equals to minus one. And then how about my X two? Oh right away, it jumped back to A. So that means I only have one answer. X1 is my only answer. And what does it mean on the graphic is, is it's actually touching only one point. Okay, so that's basically what it means. Now, how about the next one, Number question number three? If I enter A equals to two, three equals to B, and four is my C, I get something different. I, I see that I can have a, I have a X, Y at the corner here. What does it mean? X, Y, it means that the answer is uh, imaginary, okay? It's something that we don't learn in high school. It's uh, more like uh, university uh, material. So, so in this case, I'm just going to tell you that it means that there's no X answer, okay? There's no value for the solution. So that means that's no solution for the answer. So even though I press enter, my X2 still have the XY here. So it means that I have no answer, no solution. What does it mean on the graph? Is It means that there's no intersection points of this graph, okay? So that means uh, I'm not able to find the answer. So this is how I solve quadratic equation using the scientific calculator. So if I want to go back to um, the uh, just normal mode. So I just need to press mode and press zero. And then this will get back to normal. So if you like the calculator I'm using here, you can always go on Amazon that there's a link that I put down in the description. You can always click on that and you get the exactly the same model as what I have here, which is EL506TS, EL506TS. And this is sharp. Okay, so if you like this model, you can always buy that using the link below.